Well, hello guys, and welcome to another Lego Ninjago 2018 set review. This time, as you can see, we are doing set 70642. This is Kilo versus Samurai X. So, there you can see the front of the box, and then there you can see the back of the box. And so, back here now, we are going to get straight in with looking at the minifig. First character that we are going to be taking a look at is not so many. This is, of course, Kilo, and he is a big figure. So, as you can see there, all of the detailing on the front of him. And, of course, he does come with the orange mask of deception. Um, the weapon he does get is this nice club piece with this little spike on the end. So, you can give that him if you want. And then he does also get this little jetpack kind of um, build, which has got this Sons of Garmadon flag on it there. And it also has two stud shooters that you can shoot off, and those are attached on ball joints, like so. And then what you can do with that is on the back of him here, you can simply just attach this in. And this is kind of for when he is riding on the little skateboards that you get in the set as well. And so taking this off, there you can see the Mask of Deception there. And then there you can see this is what Kilo kind of looks like without the mask there. So you can see the face. Um, I do think it's pretty cool that, that he um, has a minifigure head. I don't know why, but he does kind of look more intimidating. Um, and then you can kind of see all of the detail into the torso and this jacket here. And then he's got these skulls moulded into his legs there. And then all the way around the detail is just really, really nice. And he doesn't have a second face. And then on this arm here, you can see there's this really, really nice tattoo detailing of what I'm assuming are supposed to be Oni masks. But um, as you can also see, he doesn't really stand up on his own when he has got this jet back on. So you do kind of have to stick him into studs there. And then from the side there, you can kind of see his kind of hulking body there, which um, is pretty cool. But yeah, that is it for Kilo. So now we can move on to the next minifigure. And so next up here, we have got Jay in his new suit. So as you can see, really, really nice uh, torso and leg detailing. Obviously, I have expressed my opinions on the masks uh, many times before, so you can see that there. He does include this little golden flail as his weapon, um, which is nice to get, I guess. Um, obviously, in gold. And then taking a look at his face there, as you can see, sadly, it is the movie face, and it is not reprinted to match the expressions in the show, which is a bit of a shame because this does look nothing like what he does in the show. Um, purely down to how old he looks. Obviously this looks really, really young and in the show he actually does, um, they do manage to pull it off with him looking kind of older. And then there you can see his back detailing. So that is it for Jay and then again he does get two silver katanas in this little shoulder holster thing at the and back. And then the final figure in this set is of course Samurai X. Um, I'm a bit disappointed with this one, not because of the design, but mainly because of the character choice that the writers have decided to go with. Um, and obviously you will see who that is in a minute. And obviously we have got this helmet piece now with this bit at the bottom remoulded in white. So there you can see the first face and then obviously the torso and leg detail in there. And there is some detail into the feet. And uh, obviously this is kind of a white print painted onto a black head. And then um, there you can see more of the torso detailing. And then obviously there you can see who this is. And then you can also see the back detailing. And I'm really, I really do not like the idea of Pixel being Samurai X. But um, yeah, that it is what it is. And so there you can kind of see that. And then there is what she looks like with the mask on. So moving on to the set itself now, obviously this does include two things. It of course includes Kilo's Oni Chopper, which is a really, really big bike, um, quite possibly the biggest one that Ninjago has ever made. And then we also get this Samurai X mech here. So we will start off with that first. And so of course onto the mech itself here, as you can see, um, it is in quite an awkward stance and that is mainly due to the lack of ankle rotation uh, down here, obviously. You can't move the ankles back and forth, there's really as much as they can go. So it's really, really hard to get this in walking positions because of the way the legs are made. So as you can see there, you can't really do anything with it. Um, if they had these pieces positioned forward and kind of built the legs like that, um, then you would be able to get some really nice poses with this. Um, obviously, not using the feet like that, but if these uh, ball joints were attached like that so you could actually get a full range of motion with them like so um, it would work a lot better um, and that is mainly due to the fact that these knees are bent so um, yeah um, obviously there are some mechs that do make a really good use of having these um, permanently bent knee joints like uh, Ronin's mech and also Jay's electro mech 
but that all relies really on the ankle rotation and how well that is and obviously on this mech it is not very good uh, mainly due to this little bit here this uh, brown bit so I'm sure if you took that off um, the rotation would be a little bit better but it would still be limited and then moving up the mech obviously it does get better as we go up and you can see kind of a side view of the legs and then on the back here we have got a clip for two golden katanas um, so you can take those off and give those to Samurai X if you want to. And so moving up the mech, as you can see, um, you have got this Samurai X logo there. And then you can just pull this whole compartment open there. And then this is where you can kind of stand or sit Samurai X in there. So you just put her in there and then close it up. And she does get this little kind of display piece to um, access. And there are some stickers there stick it on the top there and then obviously these shoulder armor pieces can be moved up or down I've got a few stickers on the side of this a lot of stickers on this um, and you're just gonna say that now uh, this has probably got the most stickers of any Sunday Garmin on set and then over here we have got her weapon so obviously you can move the arms and this weapon is pretty cool obviously it's kind of two blades pretty dangerous and then two stud shooters on there and then to take that out you can simply just remove the hands and then um, there is the weapon itself, so pretty dangerous if you get it in some um, cool positions. Uh, I'm sure this is going to prove useful in the show. And then what you can do with that to store it is simply just put it in this little bit here. And then to secure it in so that it doesn't fall out, you just move this clip down and then there you can see. This isn't going anywhere, you can kind of fly the mech about because, uh, yeah. And then... <sighs> so just sealing that back in there and then over on this side of the arm we have got this um, spinner crown which can rotate as kind of like a shield and also built into the arm we have got this little kind of blaster but that doesn't really shoot anything it's just kind of there for display the arm does have a lot of range of motion so no problem there it is mainly just the legs but there are a few positions you can get it in which do look pretty cool it's just that a few quite a lot of them do end up looking really awkward due to the way the legs are designed so yeah that is it for the samurai x mech now we can move on to the main highlight of this and that is of course kilo's chopper here um, his only chopper as it is officially called I believe. And so as you can see, obviously really really big bike, they have got this massive wheel on the back here. Um, these two little kind of exhausts at the back there. So just doing a quick 360 degree of this. As you can see the front wheel is a chainsaw piece and it does run on rough, rough surfaces. If you do try and run this on smooth surfaces, um, the wheel will not turn very well. So you can kind of see there. Uh, you kind of have to have an angle on rough surfaces to get it to turn. But, um, on smooth surfaces I mean, but on rough surfaces it does turn very very well. Um, I really do like the colour scheme of this being red, black and purple. Uh, it does fit the kind of Sunzagamadon vibe really really well. And you can see at the front here we've got these stickers which kind of represent an Oni mask, um, which I do think is really nice. And then this whole compartment here can actually open up, so you just lift that up. And then that is where you can store Kilo's little club. So you just literally drop it in here and then you can close this whole compartment back up. And then on the view from this side again another kind of Oni mask design on there. And then obviously a lot of stickers throughout this with some highlights of blue. And then this whole big section back here is where you can stand Kilo. So you literally just kind of stand him on these studs here. Um, and he just sits there and you can kind of position his arms to um, attach to the handlebars so you can move those down there and then he can obviously ride this and these handlebars are of course really really big and then beside him he has got these two blades which you can swing out on either side so obviously they can prove really deadly and then obviously there is something you can do um, I kind of have to take him off there um, you can make this kind of fly out so you can kind of just flick them like so so you just grab them and then you just kind of flip them forward and that will launch them forward in a really really deadly attack and then kind of the last part of this bike is these two skateboards which you can take off you get one on each side so they are of course just the generic skateboard pieces and then what you can do with those is you can attach one to each of Kilo's feet like so if they will go on uh, they do kind of come out really easily which is a bit unfortunate so we'll try and get these on here there 
and then you can just kind of roll him around and have these as acting like roller skates and then he can go chase after the ninja there so I do think that is really cool and he does look pretty funny when he has got those on and of course that is what the main purpose of this little jetpack thing here is for so you can just attach that and then he can kind of use that jet to fly around with these skateboards which is really cool and then one big problem with this is that the skateboards do fall off I'm not sure if that's just the thing to do with mine or if that's just the way Kilo is moulded that he doesn't quite fit on the skateboard pieces but either way it's only a minor problem and then of course to attach the skateboards back onto the bike you literally just clip them onto these pieces here there is one on either side and so yeah you just simply attach those on there and you will be good to go so yeah, that is it for Kilo's bike. Now we can move on to the instructions. Here are the instructions for this set. Obviously, you do just get one book here. Uh, it's quite a thick book. Um, it does use that new kind of binding style. In the back there, you can see we have got the win with Movie Lloyd. And then we have got this um, uh, advertisement for the Lego Live. Advertisement for the Spinjitzu Masters. And then we've got kind of an advertisement for all of the new Sons of Garmadon sets. And I do have all of these now. Um, so the rest of the reviews will be coming very soon. And then we have mainly got just the features of the set there. And then we are straight in with the build. So now that those are out of the way, we can go on to the ratings for the set. Overall, on to the ratings for this set. Overall, I do think this is a decent set. Um, Kilo's bike is of course really really cool and obviously the Kilo big thick himself is amazing. Um, J suit is pretty cool, obviously the only downside being the face and mask as I have mentioned. Um, and this is of course the only way that you can get J. Um, so if you do want him then obviously you are going to have to get this set. Um, the only downside to this really would be the Samurai X mech and um, obviously Pixel being Samurai X. Obviously the character choice doesn't really detract from the set, it's just kind of the build itself. And it's mainly down to this lower half because the upper half is actually pretty cool. Um, and it is a lot better than I expected. So overall onto the rating for this set, I'm going to give this set an 8 um, out of 10. Uh, really cool set, I definitely recommend it, especially if you are a J fan. Um, obviously this kind of half of the set is the main draw obviously with Kilo and his bike. Um, but the Samurai X mech is decent and um, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people are going to like it. So yeah, that is it for this review, so please like, comment, subscribe and I will see you again very soon. Bye!